what nuke time per fight, I get 30 and can't hurt my units. Oola indeed. Oola skinks! We're going to safeguard because we could use less, um, we could use less corruption. Oops. Uh, let's see. Supposedly we can start getting artillery stuff. So we don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need the diplomacy, really. Yeah, I'll get interchangeable parts. Because this is just... That's just with, um... Humans, Hiles, and Lizardmen. Alright, so these guys ran back home. Which I'm okay with. I dig. Fresh stone. Get that going on. Wizenland. Zufar. There we go. <laughs> I mean, Warplock Giles and Rattling Gunners are some of the more ridiculous units in the game. <laughs> Skaven were asses at Giles? I wouldn't say that Skaven were ass. They just played differently than other factions. So if you tried to play them like other factions, then yes, they weren't very good. But they, in the late game, the Skaven are some of the most OP motherfuckers out there, even without the Giles and the Rattling Gunners. Because summons are ridiculous. And you get so much money as a Skaven, you can afford, like, ass-tons of armies just everywhere. Just shitting on everybody all the time. What, is it? what do we got up here? Nothing too spooky. It is time. Toss the two priests, you basically get a full second stack of clan rats every fight for free. And... Monks as well. I had an army that was just uh, priests, the leader, and artillery, and that was that was it. I had no actual front line, only summons. But I could technically summon like two armies worth two or three armies worth of rats to the field, as long as I didn't run out, went, run out of Winds of Magic. So, I could take on, like, two to one stacks of High Elves with that army, even though I had absolutely no real units outside of, I mean, artillery, but, you know, it's that's not like a freaking actual, like, guy. <laughs> that's gonna stop anything. Haha. <laughs> I will not. Alright, well, if we can roll up to Corone here and take that, that's gonna be a pretty big one. Rug. That's gonna be a pretty big deal for us. The throng agrees. Onward. Time for a reckoning. Onward. Should be able to take this guy out with this army. My anger burns bright. I suppose so. So yeah, Plague Priests are some of the most OP motherfuckers out there, because the summons are just ridiculous. I like winning, so cheese armies are always the play. What? To war! Moron. Moron. My axe thirsts for war. Could cycle these. Oh, actually, my global recruitment is good. Probably should get to war. Ungrim's army back up and running, honestly. Aye, the axe of Dargo demands blood. Seeing as how he's one of the stronger guys I have. I am the Slayer King. When is his engineer coming back as well? One more turn. All right. Go trick, I'll be back next turn. Well, the real question is, do I go up here and try to f kill these rats off? Or do I fight this vampire army? 
I have another army coming up from the south. That's pretty damn strong. So maybe I'll just go bash on the rat boys. Because I'd like to take out this freaking settlement back here that's causing us problems, honestly. Ah, it's one of the good things about this game, though. All the factions are pretty strong, except for the Greenskins. Greenskins suck. <laughs> There's no one faction that is like, oh my gosh, that is the best faction. The only, the only preferences really are just like your personal preference. Again, outside of the Greenskins, who are bad. Slayers for the Eye King. Ready to serve! Ready to serve! For the ancestors! This is... really unfortunate for my cannons. It's really like no good angle unless I shoot through all these freaking trees. I just got agree on shooting at the greenskins. Like, I don't mind the greenskins lore-wise. They're good there. Their faction just sucks. All their units are, well, not all their units, but the majority of their units are just bad. <laughs> so it's very hard to, it's very hard to, uh, enjoy playing them, fortunately. Mm. I'm so poor I can't upgrade my base to level 3. Oh, go, go kill some shit. Hopefully you don't die. I might just pull my guns off the field, baby. I don't know. I just don't want them getting shit summoned on top of them and they die. Me and one of the uh, their one fighter lord gets wild stats but no mounts, so he gets dis disrupted by literally or dumpster by literally anything, and even uh, even on just a horse. Yeah, and he doesn't really do very well until he's like level twenty. Like, even despite his good stats, he still kind of sucks until he's level 20 because his melee defense is so damn low. He's got really good melee, like, attack, but... His melee defense is so low, he just gets shit on by, like, everything all the time. Ow. No hate for the wad, just, just bad. Probably not getting fixed at three either. I freaking hope they get fixed at three. I hope they get fixed before three, honestly. <laughs> oh, he's got freaking. Forgot he had that shit. Ow. Get there, boys. You guys move up. We'll just leave one guy here to deal with that shit. Here's more lightning. Ow. Slayers are in this flank. Yeah, we need to spread out here a little bit because the, the otherwise that artillery is just gonna freaking ruin our day. You guys need to back off. You guys need to back off as well. The clans unite! Ready to strike! Four on the four! Move! On the way! Move. You guys swing this way. Let's push it here. And let's frickin' lightning. Now his leader re-rallied. Slayers! 
Another one. Let's run at that real quick. We need to take out this freaking guy that's just like non-stop warp lightning us. Ow. Hey guys, back up further than than that, please. Thank you. We take out this freaking helmet abomination. It's like two health. Oh, he had another caster coming as well. Oh, of course it got. Of course it got the uh, too terrible to die. So it came back to life again. I gotta lose some slayers here. There's nothing I can do about it. And I have to kill it twice. Of course I am. Fuck are you guys going? Back here. There we go. I don't know one dude. Just fight. Slayers! For the ancestors! Range fast! Range fast! Range back! Slayers! The Dawi are ready! Yes, Lord! You guys are probably just gonna die, unfortunately. Slayers! Go! 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 Back this way. Yeah, that guy, that unit's so dead too. That's unfortunate. Go! Tis what it is. Satisfy the brutes! Ready to strike! Slayers! My bear cap, damn it. Alright, well, he's finally out of freaking magic, so. Moving out! Yes! Slayers! To the high king! Let's chase those guys out. It is an order. Here, you guys come up here and clear these dudes off by Ranger's place. Are these summons? Yeah, these are clan rat summons. Okay. Like, how the heck are they? How the heck do they get back here? Right. Summons. I hear the summons. Slayers! Freaking summons, man. Causing problems. Take this freaking leader out of again. Those guys up. There we go. Bunch of freaking enemies just started falling apart. That's what I want to see. There we go. <laughs> uh, kids love and tell uh, both look set up for their own thing. Albion is Albion too, so hopeful for the other two. But no, kids love would surprise me. Bear cap in the hands of this fantastic animation team sounds badass. Yeah, right. I was really hoping Albion would be a thing. Alright, well, we lost two units of Slayers there. Not too bad. There we go. Back here, then. Vengeance soon, soon! Alright, so that's... Let us that should be the last of them, is that one group of dudes left up there. Yep, they have zero settlements left. Okay, so that should be the last of the frickin' the rat men. At least these rat men. I mean, they're still Clan Rictus, but, you know. These frickin' rat boys. One rug. One rug. Okay. For the wisdom of so these guys will heal up, and then we'll push Corone with them. And this guy will come up and deal with this stuff, oh. try to... Never. Or this crap doesn't start pouring through. And these guys will just support, I guess. 
as best they can. How are you doing down here? My anger burns well, mountain fast can start or continue shifting north, I guess. I'm off. I'm off. See, so this stuff should be fine down here. Plus four, plus four, zero, plus one. This needs to get leveled up. It's almost there. It's, uh, well, unfortunately, we kind of need the public order as well. I would empower the guilds, but. So we can untax the province. And then we can empower the guilds. These aren't giving me, like, any money, anyways. So let's just untax this shit. Throw it on and empower the guilds. Like, it's giving, like, this whole region together is giving me, like, maybe 2,000 gold. And I'm getting 30k a turn, so it's, it's a drop of the bucket. By the king's command. Got them. This way. Ogre's got something way cooler than Bear Cab, though. Uh, ogres are just fucking awesome. Like, straight up. Nope. I'm pretty much... I'm quite excited for Chaos Dwarves, and the Ogres are pretty... They interest me quite a bit as well. Provided. Again, none of this is confirmed, but, you know, there's only so many factions that they could possibly put in Warhammer 3, so we're just kind of on, like, hard assuming at this point. Also, I mean, as far as the Chaos Dwarves are concerned, the Dark Lands already exist. They're right here. They're, like, already on the map. <laughs> and even and up here, too. Like, you can even bring the map over here. Like, this is the whole Dark Lands. Alright. Commandments. Let's do that to help with the corruption. Who all is the cavalry at war with right now? Okay. Ogres can't have mounts. Chlora can take too high. If it moves, they kill it needed. Ogres make good mercenaries, though. Hail! Do not be intimidated by the throng of Drengi. They wish only to die in battle. <laughs> Pay me a thousand for non-aggression back? Sure, Krokkar. Sure. Red Fleet is really messed up, apparently. Oh, okay, so the High Elves are basically screwed. Lothurn belongs to the Dark Elves, and potentially Clan Rictus as well. The Camry are just on a warpath. Holy crap. <laughs> I have never seen them this active. All right, screw the desert. That place is full of sand. Hm, okay. Oh, this is an interesting way of handling this nonsense. Alright, I'm going to hit fight on this, and I'm going to use a latrine, so I, re I will be right back. Thank you guys for watching. It's all been super amazing, and I will return in just a moment. Boop.
going on? What going on? Uh, reading chat real quick. <laughs> yeah, so if you're in the faster moving stance, not only can you not run away, your units will be exhausted at the beginning of combat. Something to be aware of. You can file that one under, under learning, I guess. <laughs> So you want to be really careful when you use that stance. I got one settlement is like 1500 gold and everyone else is like 70 gold. Uh, depends on how the buildings are set up. And potentially trade. If, uh, you probably don't have any trade though. This is a great outpost for Norska. Good little eastern base to keep the beer things checked early on. Yeah, last time I played Wolfric I actually blitzed Kislev and took it at under 10 turns. It's like Kislev outpost is 1500. Oh, Kislev, the, the main city is worth more money than every other city. So, like, the actual, like, main building for the city is just worth more cash than every other Norsican main city. So... That's probably where the money's coming from. All right, let's do this. Dwarf warriors. I forget Klaus Nuttum. Forget Klaus Nuttum. Minus seventy. Interesting. Slayers. Like the base city should be worth like two hundred fifty gold on its own. Like like level one, I think. Let the vengeance begin! Gods, move! Clouds roam! Cannon! Go! Hmm. For the colors and core! Oh my gosh, legendary locked camera! Nonsense. Alright, let's see if we can move this entire mess this way before he gets up over the top of the hill and starts dicking me in the face. Taking a little while to rearrange his stuff because he's trying to get the rest of his forces on the board. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Hello, friends. Yes. No, thankfully for me as well. He also wasn't exactly sure of my location, so he's kind of. He kind of is just losing units here for free. Yeah, all those guys with the damage over time and slow. Charge on in. Recharge on that. Pull you guys back over here. Do I have any rangers that are set up? Yeah, rangers. Shoot that guy. Shoot him in the face. Charge! Range fire! Up here. Move now. Watch these flyers coming in. Oh, that's Black Coach. Okay. Oop. Move to you guys on that. For the you guys up here as well. And the flyers land on top of my range units. Yep, that makes sense. Yes. Here, you guys turn and kill that thing, please. Let's push up here. What do we got going up here? We need to back these Slayers up. That off. Most of doing things wrong, which is understandable. Yeah, I'd have to take a look at it, honestly, to see exactly what's going on. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why your money is so low for that. It might be one of those things that if I saw it, I'd be like, oh yeah, well that, that makes sense. Like, it might be it might be immediately obvious if I was actually looking at it. Get off my rangers, holy shit. 
Freaking leave me alone here for a second. Still on level three, two turns away. Gotcha. This way. For the ancestor gods. You guys, this way. Oh gosh. Get pull these giant slayers back out of here if we can. Go! Kill us! Nothing can stop us. Go! Attack the axe! That's it. Move it out. Back, back, back. You guys get forward. Slay the old breakers. Stay Get out of there! Rage bar! Rage bust! Charge! Go! Move now! You're no good back there. Slow that course card even more. Slay the old breakers! I need to save some of these damage over time. He's got more he's got more crap coming. They have wronged us! Jeez, the bats! Bats! Leave me alone! Rage fast! Slayers! Rage fast! Rage fast! Fight! Quarrelers! Will do! There we go. Satisfy the grudge! For the ancestors! Pick your guns back up, boys. Quarrelers! Got knocked off by that calf. Slayers! Kazook! What a vengeance! Put you guys on zero and have you pull back over here. Put you guys up here. Flat. Dwarf warriors! No, they can stab us! They have wronged us! Plow through! Put you guys up in here, Ready try to, to take out this corpse cart. Understood, Lord! Off they go! You guys Plow need to get the hell out of there. Miners! Just need to not Fly be here. Out. If possible. Range far, range fast! Units back together here. Kazukan, Kazikita. All the other Norse are in Confederation now. Uh, Hell ones, Hellspire. There's one more. Cormody. Oh yeah, those guys are on the far left, I think. Yeah. Go! Nothing can stop us. No laughing at them. It is a reckoning. Uh, I gotta hit these ghost boys. Damage over time. Ready to strike. You guys need to pull out of there. You guys probably need to pull out of there as well. Looks like everybody, all the undead are collapsing. Falling down like a wet flan. Blat. Bunch of them didn't even make it to the party. Yeah, Throg is a. Uh, Throg is like Midi Kolek. Quite dangerous. I am strong. Who hasn't died yet? You, run up there and see who hasn't died yet. Oh. You guys haven't died yet? Solve that problem. Warhawk Skaven wants a military alliance. The, uh, the Skaven to the north can be quite useful. Um, because they can capture territories that you can't capture. Of course, then you have to deal with the Skaven corruption. 
So having them as an ally can be handy, because if they capture something and they're your ally, then somebody else can't take it that you might dislike more. So... Did I actually lose anybody? I did not. Nice. So it's a toss-up. It all depends on what you're willing to deal with. This game of corruption is annoying, to be sure, yes. You can, but you have to remember if you betray somebody, you have to leave enough time between you breaking alliances and attacking. Um, so if you're like in a military alliance with somebody, you break that military alliance, you're going to have to wait a little while before you attack, because otherwise everybody on the entire map will be like, screw that guy. Uh, I mean, you're Norska, so pe most people hate you anyways, but if you ever want to do diplomacy with anybody for the rest of the game... You have to be very careful with your allegiances you break, because otherwise you could end up, like, nobody will ever talk to you, and everybody will declare war on you, like, instantly upon knowing you exist. Sail to Norska and poop in your fridge. Essentially, yes. Alright, well these rat boys have like nothing left. This is just a... I don't want to lose my slayers in an auto-calculate situation, essentially. Freaking getting destroyed by cannonballs right now. For the Kalish Anchor! I know what. I'll let him go. Let him go. I don't think 200 gold in a military alliance. Uh, like I said, it's, it's really it depends on what you want to deal with. Sometimes I ally them, sometimes I don't. Depends on how I'm feeling at the time. And how froggy the rest of the computer factions are being. If I need that extra dude out there to help soak some armies off of me or something. That's fair. You are not welcome, so I won't pretend otherwise. Uh, no. You are not welcome, so I won't <laughs> pretend. Also, no. Freaking people. Okay, so now the Camry on the Star Tower. Interesting. Fair enough. Begin. Hey, go tricks back. Back again. Go tricks back. Tell a friend. Uh, okay. True. Yeah, being able to farm Ready them is to nice. Do the guild's bidding. I'll take the high road. <laughs> I'm sure I've heard that voice line before, but I very rarely are moving yeah, engineers sure around the map, so I just didn't remember that was one of their uh, one of their moving voice lines. They're also getting a negative economy and not hurt that bad if they have a big bank for ra from raising. Yeah, that's another weird thing about Norska is you can run in the, can freaking run 
upside down for extended periods of time and not have it really be, be that big of an issue. Brandon, you're continuing to, like, fight forward, essentially. As long as you don't get, like, stuck. <laughs> there we go, busted calibrations. Calibrations! LA attack. Cool. 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 Test me at your peril. I refuse. So he's got like one and a partial army now. Lord of Clan Let's see. That's not helpful. Breaker, I guess. We were trying to get a lightning strike, I think, on this guy is what was going on. Remember correctly. Um. Master of the Forge. Sure. You're overruled. Should be a walk up. Finish destroying this guy. Hey. Yep. I'll get on it. Trickster helm. Nice. Pretty good item. Love the war. Uh, love the Warhammer theme, but I just hate Total War. Hope they remake this game. <laughs> Fair enough. I've always been a fan of the Total War system, so... Obviously it has problems here and there, but... There's really no other game out there that does what it does. And I highly doubt they're going to remake this game, so... <laughs> Considering Total War is pretty much the only... The only people that are making games that are in this kind of, like, theme... Uh, where you, like, ha fight the battles on the open battlefield and stuff like that... Ways with as much, uh, depth... Probably going to be hard-pressed to... Have somebody else make it, and even have it be remotely close to as good, even if it did get, does get made by somebody else. Looks good when someone else plays, I just couldn't handle 20 things at the same, uh, same in a fight and kept losing. Well, I mean, if you, you can't pause, obviously. Which helps with that whole can't handle multiple things at once. The spacebar is your friend. The axe thirsts for war. Let us begin. Let us begin. Just because I don't pause doesn't mean nobody should pause. Like, <laughs> most of the time when you watch a streamer, they don't pause for many reasons. But, Master like, if you're playing by yourself, it's just, pausing is fantastic, particularly if you're not able to handle the, the micro. Is the circling worth it, and how does it actually work? I tried it once, and didn't look like it, it did anything. So when you would circle somebody, they have a, neck, a, a certain amount of turns before they run out of supplies. Like, if you mouse over, like, this banner here, um, it should tell you, like, how many turns until they surrender, and how many turns until they run out of supplies. Uh, if, when, if they run out of supplies, they start taking attrition damage. If they run out of... If, they, if it gets all the way down to they surrender, then you just get the settlement for free without having to fight anything. Um... But it tends, it takes a long time. I usually don't encircle unless I have a very, very specific reason for doing so. Like I need to delay for a little bit or I need to build, um, like siege equipment or something. Unless you have a guy that like specializes in reducing the amount of turns it takes to knock down, to like siege, it just takes for freaking ever. Like sometimes it's like 19 turns or something, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I usually just try to attack as soon as possible. So like, this guy has Wall Breaker, which reduces Siege holdout time by... Uh... By a turn. Which, even that is not much. But there are some... Like, there, there's some Beastmen that get a lot of... Siege reduction, and there's some Chaos that also get a lot of Siege reduction. That can essentially make the enemy start taking attrition damage in, like, a couple of turns, as opposed to, like, eight or whatever. 
Time for a reckoning. For the wisdom All right. of Valeria. So let us... The strong agrees. Beards in belt. Roll up this way. He has attribute Siege Attacker. So what Siege Attacker does is it allows you to attack a city with a wall without having uh, any Siege equipment. Time for so the fact that you have Wolfric means that you can assault a city with a wall without having to wait a turn to build a piece of Siege equipment to do so. Which is a very nice ability, honestly. Corona's undead? Yep. What? I think I'm undead now. What needs to be done? Not a single living soul around. I think I'm undead now. Alright, assault this guy. Success! Ah, uh, really, really sure why not. <laughs> hey, he's gaming, Dan. How's it going? The slayer in me seeks death. Like, uh, like you see here, there's, it says right here, I get, there's 14 turns before I surrender, but if I mouse over the banner, it says, uh, local province capital, turns before surrender, 14, turns remaining before garrison runs out of supplies, 8. So. So with that, you're able to see, like, how long it's going to take before somebody starts taking attrition damage, essentially. But again, that takes for freaking ever, so you're usually just better off assaulting. I'm down ready. Freaking knocking some teeth in. To war. To war. Alright, global recruitment's maxed out currently. Vengeful rude lord. Let's roll on the lot for it. Takes one turn after they run out as well. Yeah, because then... It'll show like, oh, they're gonna take this attrition damage. Um, but then they don't take that attrition damage into the following turn. So, yep, yep. Okay. The axe for war. Yeah, these guys yet? One more turn before I can get the dragon back slayers again. Who wants Game of Light? It's Game of Dan does, indeed. <laughs> In this game, though, it's uh, it's Camry. <laughs> he's he's loaned it. It's uh, currently on on rent to Camry. <laughs> yeah, I know the Camry are doing weird shit this game. I mean, this has been a pretty weird game. Like the vampires. Vampires took over the Wood Elves, the Cambria are coming out of the desert and killing the Skaven and the vampires as well. Cambria. Yeah, just lots of weird crap. Lots of weird crap, this game. I lied, what can I do? Yeah, Paravon's gonna rebel. Oh no! What is happening? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't pretend to know. Just go with the flow. On the upshot, the Barrow Legion is down to like three settlements. From their initial like... I don't know. I think they had like 40 freaking settlements or something. That I've beaten through. Because they owned pretty much the entire map at a certain point. Except for the mountains, which I had taken from... The mountains of the Badlands, which I had taken from the... Uh, uh, take it from the greenskins. And the unfortunate corpses of my dwarven allies. Oh, College of Pyro Pyrotechnics. I haven't seen them in a while. Let's hope they don't try to fuck my shit up. Hello.
unfortunate corpse of the dwarven allies. Yeah. <laughs> if you ask Paven, he would say yes. Must be really we were going to murder or absorb them eventually. Well, I was going to absorb them. So I'm. It's unfortunate that they died because I would have liked to have those. Uh, I it would have been nice to have Belagar. I am Iron Fist. And, Some call uh, me a king. You are welcome. And uh, like the White Dwarf and everything along those lines as well would be pretty dope to have to have all of those guys. Thorgrim.